Hey there, welcome to day five of our Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. Sharon horn from here. And today our topic is your goal beliefs, your beliefs about goals. What are your beliefs about goals? All of them. And what we're going to do today for an action item, super simple, <clears throat> although it's simpler to describe what we're going to do than to actually do it because it requires that we pay attention and we look inside and we think about, as we go about our day, what are my beliefs about goals? And so we're just going to write down and list beliefs about goals. Now, I made a list of 17. I guarantee I have more than 17 beliefs about goals, but most of them I am not consciously aware of. And that's why we're going to do some sleuthing today. And we're going to pay attention to the things we say, the things we think, the things we feel, or the things that trip our triggers about uh, different topics. This, at the beginning of every year, it's like New Year's resolution time of year. <clears throat> and we're still the first week of the year. It's only the 5th of January. So most people are still excited about their New Year's resolutions. They haven't really quit or given up yet. Uh, by day 10, the vast majority of people that set a New Year's resolution have totally made excuses and figured out why they don't have to do it, why they are not going to keep their New Year's resolution. But that's why I like goals better than resolutions. We talked about that a couple of days ago. So today, we're just going to think about our current beliefs and <clears throat> we'll probably later on we're going to work with these beliefs and decide if they're for us or not if they support what we want or not going forward and then uh, <clears throat> we're going to write our thoughts in today and I'm going to make mine a continuing list because I guarantee as we're going about and through the challenge I will think of other beliefs that I wasn't even aware of because they'll pop up like I've got some really weird beliefs about my health and about my uh, level of fitness and my personal physical abilities to do things and to be honest they're just stuff that I made up in my head and so those are beliefs that I have <clears throat> excuse me I think I need more coffee that I think are true for me but do they have to be true for me so we're gonna question those beliefs but not today today we're just gonna figure out what they are what are they and maybe we can start asking questions about them like where do they come from and is that true for me today we'll, we'll go through the questions we ask about these beliefs later on but right now we just want to get them down get them out of our subconscious and onto paper so that they can see the light of day because a lot of these beliefs we've had since we were little children and we have no idea where they came from when they formed and it it's not even really that, that important that we understand why or where they came from it's are they true for me today as a 62 year old woman and if not then what am I going to do about them and we're not just going to throw them away because nature abhors a vacuum so if we just start erasing these beliefs that we've had forever and we don't replace them with something else then the universe and the people around us and our environment will fill our beliefs with something that we might not necessarily be good for us or that we want to believe in so today think about goals and all of the ideas and thoughts you have about and beliefs about goals because really beliefs are just thoughts we think a lot or thoughts that we had when we were experiencing a significant event for us a significant emotional event a significant physical event uh anything like that all right any questions hit me up otherwise i will be with you tomorrow get going on that beliefs list see you tomorrow bye